In this video, I'm going to show you how you could burn a DVD on a Mac and I'll show you a couple of different ways. One is going to be a data DVD that you could just make through Finder and the other one is going to be a DVD that's going to be read on DVD players. Data DVDs are not going to be able to be played on DVD players and a lot of people make this mistake so I'll show you both ways so you know which one is which. First thing you want to do is you want to connect your external DVD burner onto your computer. I have mine connected right now. Next you want to put a blank DVD onto your DVD burner. So I have a DVD-R, a Memorex brand, I'm going to put that in here. And I'm going to put a link to the description to the burner I use and to the blank DVDs if you don't have one yet. This pop-up is going to pop up when the DVD is recognized, blank DVD. If you don't see this, just make sure that DVD is blank. So now what we want to do is over here, we want to open Finder. We're just going to press OK here. You should see something like this. So I have Untitled DVD here. It should pop up in your finder just like this. A blank page that should say Untitled DVD. I've done this a couple of times right now. So this is Untitled DVD 2. And what I want to do is I want to burn this video file. This is an MP4 file. So all I got to do is drag it over here and drop it right here. And then I just got to press burn. You should have a burn item here if it's a recordable DVD. Again, make sure it's DVD minus R. I'm going to press burn. And then you could title your DVD here. And then over here, I usually don't choose the burn speed to be the maximum speed of the DVD. I choose somewhere in the middle. Actually, the slower, the better the compatibility of the DVDs. So usually I choose a slower speed, even though it does take longer. It's going to be more compatible on other machines. Then you just press burn. This is a slideshow, so it's only going to take a couple of minutes. It's pretty short, three minutes. But obviously, if you have a longer movie, it's going to take much longer. OK, so the burning's done. I did get an error message that it can be verified. That's OK. And as you could see, it's built a folder right here. So this is the folder of my burned clip. And if I control click on this, I could still burn it again. It's just pr pressing this. But this is how it created that folder because I used Finder to create it. I'm just going to close it off and show you what happens. See, launch the DVD here. And if I double click this, that video file is right here. But again, it's not going to be playable with a DVD player. So if I use the DVD player and if I try to read this DVD, I could just go here and I could select that DVD right here and I press OK. It's not going to be able to read that DVD. It is not a playable DVD. It's a data DVD. So you could use it in any computer you want, but not a DVD player. Now let's go to show you how to do that on a DVD player. I'm just going to eject this DVD. Command E is going to eject this DVD. So to burn this as a playable DVD, you need another software. You can't do this with Finder. And the software I use is just called Burn. So type in Burn in Google or check out the link in the description to this. It's a completely free software. You can use it as many times as you like. So you'll go over here and download the 64-bit version. And when it downloads, go ahead and open it up. Open up the folder. And this is the folder that opens up. And if you double click on Burn because it's a third-party app, the first time it's not going to allow you to open it. So what you got to do is command click and just say open this way. This way is going to let you open it if it's the first time you're opening it. So now that you have an open here is the different options you have data DVD audio video. So data DVD you could do through Finder showed you how to do that in the previous section. Video DVD is what we want and we want to change this to be DVD video. So video DVD video. And now you could just bring your video file right over here. Just drag and drop. And it's going to ask you to convert. That's fine. I'll just convert to what it wants it to be. And it's going to ask me for a save location. I'll just pick my desktop and regen. This is an NTSC in the US. PAL is for Europe. So I'm going to choose that. Press choose. And now it's going to encode my file. That's fine. It's doing that in the background. And then we'll get to the burning process. Now I'm assuming you're doing this with a movie that you own. If you have ripped a movie, a DVD, a movie, they might have copyright issues on them. So this is not going to work for you. This is if you created a film, a slideshow, anything like that, what I'm using it for. Obviously, if you don't have permission to burn the DVD, this is not the way to do it. OK, now that the encoding is done, you could just go ahead and title your DVD to whatever you want. And now I could just press burn. And over here you have options to loop. So if I want to loop the slideshow, which I do, I could click that. Otherwise you could just use the DVD theme. I'm just going to check that off. I just want this to auto play and loop. One more thing to note is when you drag your movie file right here, look at the total file size. It's got to be under 4.7 gigs because that's the size of a DVD. Now, if you're using Blu-ray, it's much bigger. 
but if you're using a DVD, it's 4.7. So this is obviously way, way smaller than that. But make sure if you're doing a two hour movie, for example, that it fits here. If it doesn't, you gotta use another software to compress it down to fit your DVD. And now I'm just gonna press burn. So I'm gonna put in a blank DVD. And over here, again, with the speed, I'm gonna choose somewhere in the middle here to make it more compatible with more DVD players ready to burn, press burn. So now you could launch DVD player. It should be a default on your Mac. I'm just gonna launch that. Sometimes it auto launches and it should auto play the DVD for you. Your DVD should look like this. If you open it up, it should have an audio TS and a video TS. Before it was a data DVD, so it wasn't created this way. So when it's created like this, a DVD player can actually read it. Now make sure you eject this DVD and play it on a different DVD player just to test out that it's working fine. Again, just to recap, there is a way to do data DVD with Finder and there is a way to do a playable DVD on a DVD burner with the program Burn. Again, take a look at the description for anything that I used in this video like the DVD burner and the blank DVDs. Please give this video a thumbs up if it helped you and subscribe to the channel for a lot more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.